Hello there, and welcome to Tilly G the tortoise and his floof gang. He lives with five floofy floofsters, including two doggos that absolutely love him, and three kitties that also absolutely love him. So I thought I'd go on <laughs> and Skippy is his bestie. Skippy loves him so much. So all six of my pets are rescues, and I want to stress the importance of adopting over shopping. Tilly G himself is a rescue tortoise. He was rescued by the Humane Society. He was in pretty rough shape before I adopted him. He had a cracked shell, a really life-threatening respiratory infection, and he was living in a cage. It was pretty sad. And then the amazing vets at the Humane Society basically saved his life, but he's uh, always been a very resilient, tough guy. Sweet guy, gentle giant. Anyway, uh, he was very little then. He was about a pound or so, and uh, he was also underweight at the time. And then the vet saved his life and I was able to adopt him. And now he's living and thriving and healthy and happy. He's gaining a ton of weight. He, uh, when I adopted him, like I said, he was about a pound or so. And that was just a few years ago. He's gaining about 10 pounds a year. So I want to talk about their care. He's a sulcata tortoise, also known as African spurred tortoise, which is the third largest tortoise, land tortoise that there is, right behind the Galapagos and the El Abajabra. <laughs> I, <call. laughs> I can't say it right. You know what I'm talking about, that big one. So anyway, uh, they get pretty big. These guys, he's just a baby, he's seven years old. He's gonna grow to about 200 pounds. He's well on his way. Um, the males always get bigger than the females, but you want to adopt because a lot of these people that adopt the little babies think they're cute and then they give them up for adoption because they can no longer care for them. And these guys, they actually need a lot of care. They need a lot of space. This is just one portion of the yard. They need, you know, thousands of square feet. They need acres and acres of land. He's got a couple of yards of um, a couple different yards, a front yard, side yard. There's a couple side yards that he has. Hi! <laughs> and so he's got a lot of space. They need acres and it needs to be secure. So you can see this is a pretty tall brick wall. It's about 10 feet tall. And the cool thing about a brick wall, hi Sparky Doodle. The great thing about a brick wall is that it goes about two feet deep down. And that's really important because these big guys can dig. Oh, be sweet, there you go. They can burrow up to two feet deep and they love to burrow and they can dig themselves out from underneath a fence. So it's really important that you have a very secure yard for them. Isn't that right, my handsome boy? And they need access to plenty of sunshine. They need to sunbathe in the sun for hours every day and they need to graze on grass every day. They should not be eating stuff from the grocery store. I know it's fun to watch them eat stuff from the grocery store, but you're really doing a lot more harm to them than good, especially when it comes to fruit. And then he also has a couple of houses. He has three houses, but this is his current house right here. And it's basically a dog house that we converted into a tortoise house. It's got a heat mat, heat lamps on one side. And then on the other side, it's nice and cool for him. Although here in California, it's sunny and 70 degrees today. Yesterday was, I believe, what, 85 degrees? So we don't really have a true winter here and we're always in a drought. So, but that's what I call Tilly G weather. They need that kind of climate. So you need to live either in California or Florida or uh, those are the best places, really, for these big guys. Hi! And they're not always this chill and super sweet. Um, this guy is very sweet, very chill. They can be aggressive. You should never have them alone, unsupervised, with dogs. Um, bigger dogs actually think the smaller tortoises can be chew toys sometimes. And you need to take care of these guys. They need to soak at least two to three times a week. So you need 
They're not just something you can like throw in your backyard and forget about. You really have to take good care of them. And I hope to advocate that. I hope to advocate for adopting over shopping and also for giving them the best life that they deserve. And um, hopefully this helped a little bit. I get a lot of questions about his house, his winter house, his beach house. And I'm happy to answer all those questions. Just uh, send me a DM on Instagram because I answer all my DMs. And um, hopefully this has been helpful to you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for following. Like and subscribe.